Bone Wild TV is brought to you by Gaylord Michigan, your all outdoors paradise. All right, we are in the truck. We are headed to Florida. Last week we were in Lake of the Woods, Minnesota, walleye fishing. It was minus 28. It's going to be 90 down here, South Florida. Big change in weather. Just got into Tennessee. We'll stop somewhere in South Alabama tonight and make our presence known down there in Florida tomorrow afternoon. Here we go. I don't know if Nashville traffic always thinks like this or if it's because it's NWTF weekend, but it's lousy. We arrived down at the Razor Ranch 16 hours after leaving home, Illinois. Uh, get unpacked, get settled in, shoot our bows, get ready to go. I'm going after hogs. Lottie's gonna rest, long drive, but I am going after hogs. Uh, we've got some free range property, we got a feeder. Hopefully the hogs are coming in. Larry says it's loaded with hogs. You know, we'll see what happens. Larry's never uh, steered me wrong in the past. Hopefully the hogs are gonna cooperate and we can get some bacon in the freezer. All right, we're here at the Razor Ranch. We got unpacked. Been here a couple hours. We're gonna ready to go out. I think I'm just gonna go out. Lottie's gonna rest for a little bit, but we're gonna go out, see what the hogs are doing, set over a feeder. Got about another hour and a half before dark. It's hot, so the hogs are not gonna be moving. I don't wanna be moving. I'm gonna head out, see what happens. Uh, taking out the crossbow, sitting in a, a stand over a feeder, like I said, and uh, We'll just see what happens. It's hot. All right, we just got here. Larry set the feeder off, and immediately I heard hogs in the distance. We hurried up and got up here. Hopefully they get here pretty soon. Anyway, that didn't take 20 minutes. What I think I'm gonna do is get down, recock this crossbow, and get back up here. This portion of Bone Wild TV is brought to you by Expedition Archery, Tacticam, Scrape Fix, Reveal, Element Outdoors, 
Make sure you join the Bone Wild crew on Facebook at facebook.com slash bonewildtv. I'm going to get down. Recock this crossbow. There's just not much of a platform to stand up on here and uh, go from there. Try it again. See if we can get a second hog. Only brought two arrows. So I chickened out. <laughs> no, I, I just want to see that hog uh, called Larry. He's going to send somebody in to help me track it. I did go up underneath the feeder and found some blood. I'm not going in there by myself. I'm out of breath. I'm not out of breath. I'm just hot. So, uh, yeah, we're waiting on Larry. He's sending somebody in to help me. See if we can find that hog. All right, so we had a good blood trail on this hog. And if you've ever hunted South Florida, you know the palmettos are tough. They're tough. Hog gets in there, they get underneath them palmettos, and they're going to wallow in there, whatever the hogs do. And they're going to hide. I mean, you could walk by it. You could walk five yards by it and never see it if they get underneath them palmettos. And that's what happened to us. We searched for this hog, we searched for this hog. And finally, after dark, we found the hog dead underneath a palmetto. We got a drug out, it was late. Uh, it was a good hit, but we just couldn't find the hog. But we finally found it, got it out, got it back to the camp, went in, had a bite to eat, get out to the skinning shed, and proceed to start butchering this hog. Halfway through, it dawned on us, we did no commentary for this hog. It was late, we were hungry, and we did what hunters do, and we started butchering the hog. We didn't do the TV stuff that get behind it, tell you how great the expedition crossbow was, or how well the nocturnal glowed in the dark and all that stuff. We just ate, butchered the hog, and realized we didn't do our job. So, there it is. Dead hog, no commentary for hunters. Sometimes we forget that we're TV hunters. It is what it is. All right, sun's just coming up on our second, first morning here at the Ray's Ranch. Shot that hog last night, nice sow. Um, don't really know what they have in store for me this morning. I know we're gonna do a little hog hunting. Maybe go uh, see about a gator, alligator, I don't know, my wife. She's still sleeping. Not gonna kill nothing in that bed, honey. But anywho, I can because I'm out here in the beautiful Florida morning weather. A little chilly, I don't know, it's probably 50, 55 or so. We're gonna get in the messy old truck and run up to the main lodge and see what's happening. Okay, one thing about hogs is they're blind as a bat. They can smell. The wind is blowing your bad odors all over their nose, they're gonna smell you. But if you go to them, good camouflage, they're not gonna see you. So we're gonna do some spot and stalk hog hunting. This is an exciting way to hunt hogs. If you ever get a chance, do some spot and stalk hog hunting. It's a lot better than sitting in a tree. To me, it's a lot better than sitting in a tree. You know, you might blow a couple stalks, but hogs are everywhere. So you're gonna get another chance if you blow it. So don't kick yourself in the rear end. Just enjoy the hunt. We're going spot and stalk hog hunting.
Bone Wild TV is brought to you by Gaylord Michigan, your all outdoor paradise. The Tick Terminator. Peter Body Suit, stay warm or your money back. Labette County, Kansas, it's in your nature. Hey, we're down here at the Razor Ranch. We just killed that alligator. Looked over the hill. This hog, it's a big hog. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's a big hog. Me and Paul, my guide, we made a little stalk around. Came over the top of the levee and he was looking at us square in the face. So we got back down, went, I don't know, another 20 yards, came up, got broadside. As soon as we crested that levee, he noticed this. Let an arrow fly, good shot. He ran maybe 30 yards. He was trying to get his bearings. I think he wanted to come back and eat Paul for lunch. But uh, no, just an awesome hog. Got a nice gator, nice hog. We're down here at Larry. We're down here at the Razor Ranch. Get a hold of Larry. I mean, this he's got everything. He's got axes, he's got quail, hogs, gators. You name it, Larry will get you on it. But yeah, this has been a fun day. It's the middle of, end of February, 88 degrees. Home is 20 degrees, sleets on the ground. I'd much rather be here doing this. Yeah. I think I need a nap now. Getting all cooled off. <laughs> no. You're buying me one of these. All right. Got a couple hogs in the freezer. One is a pretty stinking big hog. But now we're going gator hunting with Manny Plague. Manny is the crazy Cuban who wrestles alligators, swims with the sharks, get his fingers bitten off by rattlesnakes. I don't think the rattlesnake actually bit his finger off. I think it just got infected and turned black and fell off. But anywho, Manny Plague, if you don't know who he is, he's a uh, gator boys, uh, wild boys. He's been on that TV show. I don't know if I can say Jack, but the Jack movies. Well, yeah, uh, Savage Wild, I think, on the Sportsman's Channel. Manny is just known for being nuts. Nicest guy in the world, little nuts, but nice. Anyway, we're going gator hunting. Manny's along. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna do anything silly like swim with the gators or wrestle the gators or levitate the gators, but we're gonna go out with Manny, see what we can do. So we're here at the Razor Ranch. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go after some alligators. Jordan, he is going to take a trident spear uh, the Manny Plague made. We're going to catch these alligators on big treble hooks. We're going to get them reeled to the bank. Then Jordan's going to take this spear. We'll see what happens. Balance it out and do crisscross them. We uh, used a treble hook, got him to the bank, 
uh, was able to get them in the back here with this spear. Uh, this is uh, custom made by Manny himself, so definitely gets the job done. I'll tell you that. Fishing will run real, and then you're hunting, you're throwing. So yep. it's the two of them combined. Yep. So you get a, a little bit of both. You get a fight with a with a rod, and then you get to you know harpoon with the trident. So it's a combination, uh, double. Yep. Double experience. Yep. Definitely an experience. Something I'll never forget. Yeah, pretty awesome. Jordan could not have been more happy with that uh, alligator. Now it's my turn. I'm taking out the expedition bow. I'm going to see if I can arrow one. Closed captioning for Bone Wild is brought to you by River Bend Resort. Expedition, Carbon Express Arrow, True Fire Antique Release, Rocky Mountain Rodheads, and one tired person here at the Razor Ranch. Get a hold of that guy. His name's Larry. I've shot alligators before with my uh, bow, and this is honestly the first time I've ever killed one with one shot. Them Rocky Mountain broadheads, a dead number on this here uh, alligator. Hey, so after I kill my gator, uh, just for fun, I hook into another one. Uh, Manny isn't always thinking straight, so he wanted to spend a little play time with this gator. You know, close personal bonding time with this gator. Why? Nine foot alligator. It took me about 45 minutes to get in. We're gonna let it go. So kids, everything you just saw, don't try it at home. This was done by trained 
people with no common sense, that's why they're missing fingers, part of their back, some of their toes, don't try this at home. Okay, I'm gonna take this time to beg, I guess. Hackers came in and they stole my Facebook account, they stole Bone Wild, I mean, it is gone. So now might be a good time to tell you that this is actually the last year for Bone Wild TV. We are rebranding. We are changing the name of Bone Wild TV for 2024 to Hauser's House. Beg you guys to go over on Facebook, like Hauser's House, uh, follow along with us. Same poor content that we're doing for Bone Wild TV, just a different name. So if you get a second, get off of here, all 12 of you, I'd like to see uh, Go over, get on Facebook, get on Hauser's House, and hit the like button.